Hello, good morning. Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Tracy. I am a member of Five Dinners One Hour and I am getting ready to prep meals for my family and I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So as you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where it is that you're joining me from. I'm in Arizona. It is very hot. <laughs> um, but otherwise, we're hanging in there around here, hitting record highs, you know, that's how it goes. Um, where's everybody joining me from? I'm excited to hear. So I'm just go, going ahead and getting everything set up that I'm gonna need um, for the five dinners I'm making. I'm actually gonna make six dinners tonight because um, cause I wanted to. <laughs> so I want six meals this week. I'm gonna use, um, one of them I'm gonna use as a lunch, which is awesome. I'm excited about that. And yeah, so hello in Washington State. You've been missing my preps, happy to see you. Oh, well, thank you. I'm so glad that you were able to join me. Um, I'm not gonna need that bag, but that's why it's not labeled. <laughs> so uh, my name's Tracy. I'm a member of Five Dinners One Hour. And Five Dinners One Hour is a prep ahead meal plan system. What's awesome about it is they give you all of, the, you pick your meals, they give you all the step-by-step -step instructions, they give you um, my brain. <laughs> they give you all the stuff by stuff instructions. They give they generate a grocery list for you, all of the things. So they make getting dinner on the table so crazy easy. You don't even have to worry about it. Hello, Betty Lou. Thanks so much for hopping on and joining me. Hey, Kristen. Thank you for joining me. So yeah, so it's super duper simple. They make meal prep super simple. And honestly, what I love about it is it makes meal dinner super duper simple. So I'm just going ahead and getting stuff set up over here. And we're gonna help go ahead and get started on our five, well, six meals that we're making for our family this week. So the first one is a little bit of a messy one. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and start with that one. And then I'm gonna wash up my hands and then you all have to see me leave my, leave the screen again. Um, you notice I don't even have my cutting board out yet. So, single mom working as a nurse, so time is not in your favor. This is what is going to save you, save you a ton. So first up, I'm doing the deviled chicken legs. Now, I like to take all of my ingredients for each recipe and put them in one bin so that I know that I have everything that I need for that recipe. Um, and that way too, if I'm talking, if someone comes in and they need something from me or whatever, um, I know that I didn't miss an ingredient. So first up, double chicken legs. And I'll gonna be starting here. And it's the, step I, the instructions are really, really, really simple. Like I said, this is one of our more, um, this particular recipe is probably the most labor intensive you will see of any recipe at all. And you're gonna see it's not that big of a deal. So mix first five ingredients in a shallow bowl. I've got my shallow bowl right here. I don't know if you can see it because it's clear, but it's right here. Um, so I'm going to get going on that and had to make a slight modification. Now here's the thing with five dinners, one hour, you can modify based on what you have on hand or based on, um, there it is, uh, based on what your dietary needs are or anything like that. It's really, really simple. And this recipe actually calls for orange marmalade, which is part of why I picked this recipe because I knew we had a jar of orange marmalade in the fridge that I wanted to finish up. I had used it in a couple of other recipes, really liked the recipes that had the orange marmalade in them. What I did not realize until this morning because that orange marmalade has been there, that my husband finished it on some toast this morning because I didn't tell him not to eat it. So, we're gonna improvise. I'm gonna throw a little orange juice in there and a little bit of honey and that should take care of it. Um, but that's real life, right? That's real life, how things really go. And sometimes you gotta make modifications, gotta make quick modifications. So, what was that question? Can the meat be prepped from frozen? Absolutely, the meat can be prepped from frozen, 100%. 
Um, so when you're gonna prep from frozen, you can do a couple of things. You can either prep it directly from frozen, or this honey is about done, so I'm gonna go about it that way. I may have to open the other one. You can go directly from frozen, or you can prep all of the other and prep it while it's frozen, let it thaw in the fridge for a couple of days and go that way. Or you can prep all of the other ingredients and then um, pull it out the night before you need it, add it to your already prepped ingredients and you're good and ready to go. Right, it'll still be delicious. I'm excited about it, yes. So, okay. So we're gonna mix our first five ingredients into our shallow bowl. Okay. And five dinners, one hour is, like I said, a prep ahead meal plan system. It's got a sale going on right now, 10 off. You can see it posted right behind me. And it's, use the code 10OFF to save $10 on your subscription. And what that gets you is um, you get 60, if you wanna hop in and unlock recipes right away, using that code 10 off, you get um, 60 recipes right away that you've unlocked in either the classic or the clean eating plan, right? And, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. Thanks for bearing with me. It's gonna cost you $26 with the code 10 off. And that's for the quarter. So you get 12 weeks access to those recipes and every month you're gonna get 20 new recipes added to that plan. And then um, you're ready to go. Like the second you sign up, you are super ready to go. That said, if you want to unlock and have access to 500 recipes, Go for the combo plan. You still use that code 10 off, cost you 45 bucks, and you've got everything. And you're still getting new recipes, so you're gonna get 40 new recipes every single month with that combo plan. It's amazing. My brain's working now. Whew. So um, you wanna go to five happy nurse, you wanna go to five dinners one hour.com. There is an app, but the app is only available to members. So you have to go to the website first to sign up. And then you can access it from the website. You can access it from mobile, which is what I do most of the time. I use the mobile, um, or you can use the app. But you won't be able to log in on the app without a membership. And we get, they get asked that question a ton. So thank you for asking. Yep, you choose any recipe that you like. So, all right. It says to wear disposable gloves for easy cleanup. I don't have any gloves, so I'm gonna be running and washing my hands. Okay, so first up, mix the first five ingredients into a shallow bowl, we did that. Pour breadcrumbs onto a paper plate, we did that. Wear disposable gloves, I told you I'm not doing that part. Brush chicken with the mustard and roll it in the breadcrumbs. So we are making deviled chicken legs. Super excited about that. We've got all of our seasonings and everything in here. Gonna be so good. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to brush my marinade over top of all of my chicken legs to begin with. Now, I am doing a serving size of three. We are a family of three. And I will say, anytime a recipe calls for chicken legs, they always account for two chicken legs per person. So the portions really are great. But you can make it to whatever is best for you. And I know that we never eat two chicken legs a person. So I decided to only do four chicken legs for this recipe. My daughter will only eat one unless she's starving. I will probably only eat one. My husband might eat two. So this is plenty of food for us. But if you have larger appetites and you eat two chicken legs, they have accounted for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just put these face down in my breadcrumbs. Woo, come here. Come here, Mr. Chicken Leg. And then I'm gonna brush on the other side. Cause you wanna get the, you wanna get the goodness on all the sides, right? Okay. Then I'm gonna roll these guys over. Get them good and breaded. You all know how to bread things, right? It's not hard. And then we're gonna put it 
in our right in our dish and it tells us to separate legs with some uh, parchment paper or wax paper or whatever between layers so that they don't stick together and I forgot to buy, bring my parchment paper so let's see if the husband can hear me and if he can't I'll just fix it right after hey honey can you bring me the parchment paper out of the pantry, please? It worked. I'm a little chickeny here and I forgot to grab it. Chickeny is totally a word. It's a thing you can be. It's right behind the foil sheets. All right. And can you cut off a little piece for me that I need to stick on here? Because you're not chickeny. You're welcome to walk into the shot. What else do you need? That's more than plenty. <laughs> Assistants are super duper helpful. Just put it with your hands. Okay. You Fold it in half. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. As if by magic. <laughs> Chickeny is a word you would use. I love that. Okay, so as if by magic, now I have all of my chicken legs ready to go in there. So that's the first part of this recipe. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of my chicken mess and I'm gonna take this over to the sink. Keep, keep in mind that I had this mess, right? Because I'm gonna show you all of my dirty dishes when we're done, but I'm probably not gonna go grab the chicken plate. So you can just imagine that it was there. And I'm going to use one of my good claws. Get this all cleaned up and ready to go. All right, there we go. And nothing that actually touched chicken touched my counter, which is wonderful, but I still want to clean it up because it'll make me feel better. <laughs> so, there we go. All right, so that's the first part of the deviled chicken legs. So again, five dinners, one hour, in order to join this meal program, use that code 10 off. You don't have to, but if you do, it's gonna save you $10, which I mean, who doesn't wanna save 10 bucks? Let me grab my cutting board, and we're gonna get moving. Moving and grooving, and like I said, of all of our recipes, that was a more labor-intensive recipe, and we're still not quite finished with it, but. Like, that's how easy this stuff is, you guys. It's so, so simple. I need to grab another stander upper guy. Is it safe for the meals to sit all week? Yes, absolutely. So what you do is you go ahead and um, label them by the use by date on your proteins. You just make a note of that use by date on your proteins. I washed all my veggies before I came live, you guys. So, if you see me pulling out veg, just know that they're clean. All right. Yeah, so you just notify the use by dates, and um, you can go ahead and um, use them in that order. And generally, a good rule of thumb for what order to eat them in is to do seafood dishes first, and then chicken. You do that stuff at the beginning of the week. And then, um, then you move on to your pork and your beef, and then you go to anything that's frozen or meatless, or like if you've got one that's like a smoked sausage or stuff like that, that stuff that lasts better, and you're good to go. You are good to go. So nice thing about five, the five dinners, one hour prep ahead meal plan system. Did I mention you guys that this builds a grocery list for me and that that grocery list is cumulative? Uh, it's amazing. Um, so, you pick your recipes, any ones that you want, out of the selection that you've got. And again, if you join today, you can unlock you can unlock 60 recipes right away, right? And that's the classic or the clean eating plan. Or you can go all in and do the combo plan and get everything for 500 recipes for just a few more dollars, which is amazing. But anyway, you go in, you pick the recipe that you want for your family that week, and then you 
then it makes a grocery list for you. You adjust your serving size based on what's best for your family. Again, we're a family of three. I've got all of my servings this week set to a serving size of three, but you can adjust it by recipe. If I'm having company, I have been known to set it for 24. So you can set it to whatever you want. Anything from one to 999, they've got you. And then it just adjusts your ingredients so that you're buying exactly what you need. You have a piece of potato that falls on the floor and you go, okay, that's life. It's great. The grocery list is a lifesaver. Yes, it is. Hello from the Grand Caymans. You can't find all 500 recipes. Do you have the combo? Because if you have the combo, you have access to all of the current classic recipes, all of the current clean eating recipes, all of the member bonuses, all of the five star, um, all of the... Uh, uh, 30 day challenges and stuff, they are in there. Just keep looking, but they are all in there. I promise you, they are all in there. Okay, so now people ask, how do you cut potatoes and have them be good all week? Olive oil and yellow potatoes. That is what you need. Yellow potatoes do way better than any other potato, and if you toss them really well in the olive oil, they will not turn brown on you. If you're using pepper, you might have some black spots from the pepper, like pepper spots, but um, that's it. Megan, yeah, they're all in separate groups. So you have them, they're there. Just start clicking those buttons. Okay, so there we go. We have got our double chicken legs. Now I'm gonna give these a really good toss because again, I don't want my potatoes to turn brown on me. So the only brown or black spots I will have will be from my pepper, right? Give that a good turn. And then I'm gonna just open it slightly, roll it down over itself, get rid of the air, and boom. Here's our devil chicken legs ready to go. Oh, and the 170 lunches, thank you. I knew I was not saying something. <laughs> yeah, 170 lunches come with the um, combo plan as well. So if you've got the combo plan, it is all there. Thank you, whoever said that. Marianne, thank you so much. All right, next up, we are going to do the French dip sliders. How do I keep the potatoes good all week? I don't know if that came late or if you just hopped on. But if you just hopped on, use yellow potatoes, toss them in olive oil. How much is the combo plan? The combo plan is um, $45 with that code 10 off, 10OFF. So I've never used these particular slider buns before. They are King's Hawaiian. Um, and it was a substitute for my grocery store on uh, my grocery pickup. But we're gonna give them a try. See what my family needs. So we're making the French, oh, the double chicken legs are served with salad, roasted potatoes, and peas. If I had to purchase everything that I needed for this recipe, it would have cost my family $12.05, so that's $4 per person per meal. Um, I didn't, I, there were some things I already had on hand, so I only spent $10 on it, $3.47 per person per meal. All right. And then French dip sliders, again, set to a serving size of three. So we've got the bottom buns in a baking dish and we're gonna start adding our cheeses. Now I am gluten-free and dairy-free, the rest of my family is not, and sometimes I will do a gluten-free, dairy-free version of a slider for myself, but there's gonna be a night that I am not home this week, and so that's what they are gonna have without me. And they love these, so. I'm not worrying about it, and I'm just making the whole pan as is for the fam. But you can easily make those modifications. This container, this is an Ello container. You can get it on Amazon. There is a link, I think there's a link to our Amazon shop in the bio. There may be, there may not be. I know there is over on Instagram. Um, 
And you can find them on Amazon, Target carries them, Walmart carries them. You can find them pretty much anywhere. So, and it gives you even the order, right? Told, told me to lay that cheese on the bottom, and then it told me to um, then lay my beef. And then I am supposed to add my shredded cheese on top. Step-by-step -step instructions, super duper simple, paint by numbers cooking, so easy. And who doesn't love sliders, especially in the summer? Seriously, delicious dinner. All right. Oh, Target has them too. Fantastic. Yeah, you're welcome. Perfect. So there we go. Get my lids right on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this guy. Okay. And we are going to make the next part of that, which is a butter mixture. that's gonna go in the microwave that we're gonna brush over the top on cook day. Okay, so let me grab some butter here. Put that behind me, I don't think I, I might need them again. I don't think I need them again. You love the sliders, especially the French dip sliders. Yeah, so yummy, right? So, so, so yummy. Oh, you think I'm organized? Thank you. I'm telling you what, I look organized because of five dinners, one hour. It's because they have given me step-by-step -step cooking instructions and I know what to do. Um, and I just grabbed these bins from the Dollar Tree and I take all of my ingredients that I need for prep day, which are here. Right here in this middle column, I take all of my ingredients that I need for prep day, and I put, for each recipe, I put them in a bin, and so that I know that I have everything, and I'm not missing anything, because if someone talks to me, or I'm chatting with you guys, or when I'm prepping and I'm not live, and I, someone comes over and they need something from me, I make sure I've got everything. Okay, so here we go. French dip sliders. Regular, ready to go. So that's meal number two, we're 24 minutes in. And that first meal was a bit of a, takes a little time meal, um, but just a bit. And it was very, very quick. So French dip sliders are ready to go. These would have cost my family $14.12 if I needed to buy everything. So $4.70 per person per meal, which is fantastic. This one's gonna be served with chips and fruit. Um, instead, I didn't need everything. So $9.92 is, is what it cost my family. So $3.30 per person per meal. Fantastic. So I'm gonna set this guy down over here. I know, I want you guys to be able to see everything all at once, but there's a lot to be able to see. So we're just gonna set those over there and we're gonna bring up our next guy. Okay. French chip sliders done. Asian broiled barbecue shrimp. Now someone asked earlier about prepping with frozen meats and someone asked about the order in which you prep things. The Asian broiled barbecue shrimp. Now this is um, a shrimp dish, but I, I am not going to eat it on day one or day two. I'm not gonna want it until later in the week. So I have kept my shrimp in the freezer. I'm gonna prep everything else. And then on cook day, I'm just gonna add my shrimp, toss it to it, put it under the broiler, and it's gonna be fantastic. If you buy a large sub, I miss that. Okay, so here are my assembly instructions for this one. Are you ready? It's this easy. Add all in ingredients to a large zipper bag, zip and shake to mix. Okay. So, oh, come back here, hoisin sauce. So, and I'm just doing mine in a zip top bag. You can totally use reusable as you've seen me do in these other recipes and you can use disposable. I tend to use a little bit of both. Just depends on what it is that I need for that week, where the recipe is going, whatnot, and how much refrigerator space I have. Because if you prep into zip top bags, it makes it super easy to, um, to store them. 
You can store them in your deli meat drawer. You can store them in a produce drawer. You can store them on a shelf, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Set that aside. We will be using him again. How much of this? And it gives me exact measurements of what I need based on the serving size that I selected. And um, you can use, if you want exact, like paint, total paint by numbers, hold your hand through, like you follow those exact serving sizes and whatnot. Um, and sometimes I do for certain ingredients, I do like cayenne pepper and chili powder. I am measuring that stuff for sure. Um, but for other ingredients, I like to measure with my heart. You do it however you want. So there we go. This is meal number three. See how quickly that came together? Now, I would, if I was eating this on day one or day two, I would go ahead and add my shrimp to it. I am not. Oh, I forgot the olive oil. Because I didn't put it in my basket because I had used it in another recipe. See? See how handy those baskets are? I'm like, why is this not coming together? All right. Let's try that again. But this is, this is real life. This is a, a real mama making real food for her real family. You waste so much less food now because you're not guessing what's for dinner. Yes, absolutely. So when was the last time you guys had an ingredient and um, you had all of the good intentions of using it, right? And it either got lost in the back of the fridge or you didn't get to it in time and you wasted it happens right tell me what it is i used to waste cauliflower all the time i have wasted an entire pack of chicken before you know and that stuff's expensive and you don't want to waste the food right um and you want to be able to use what you have but now you have with five dinners one hour you have a set plan it's super simple you know exactly what you're making right and you're not wasting anything you're only buying exactly what it is that you need no more science projects growing in your fridge. Exactly, Christy. All right, so that's meal number three, ready to go. So the Asian broiled barbecue shrimp. So I'm having a shrimp dinner, right? If I had had to um, buy everything, it would have cost me $14.28, so $4.76 per person per meal, which for a shrimp dinner is pretty darn good. Um, I didn't have to. I spent $9.60, so $3.20 per person per meal. So what's interesting about the six meals that I'm preparing today for my family, my first three were like pricier meals for me because a meal that's around $9, $10 is high for what I normally spend because I shop my fridge, freezer, and pantry, but there were some things that we wanted. Um, and then my last three meals are very, very low cost meals for my family. So it all balances out. And because I chose to make a shrimp dinner, right? Or like if I choose to make steak or whatever it is, can these be frozen for later in the week? Yes. Um, so recipes that are freezable are labeled as freezable and you, there's even a button you can search through to press and it says freezable and you can sort all of your freezable items out. This is what you love about five dinners, one hour, no waste and it keeps you on track. Yeah, you're not wasting, you're not wasting the money, you're not wasting the time, whatnot. Here's the other thing I love. I am making my mess in my kitchen right now. I'm making my mess in my kitchen right now, and I am not going to have to deal with that mess later. I'm not. This is it. This is the mess. <laughs> so I, uh, on cook day, all I'm gonna have to do is clean the pan that I cooked on, or dish that I cooked in, and the plates we ate off of, and if I am not feeling it, we can eat off paper plates. Like, it's that easy. So easy. So I spend one hour once a week. It's, we're 30 minutes in, I've been talking a ton. I've already made three meals. I'm going to be done probably before the hour is over because now we're moving on to recipe number four. Quick, quick, easy. So again, 10 off, 10-OFF is going to instantly unlock the classic or the clean eating plan. Oh, the, what are we making, what are we serving this with? The Asian broiled barbecue shrimp. Now my prices and everything include the sides and the sides are included and the sides come in your, they are generated into your grocery list for you. So sugar snap peas, which I've gotten here. I actually use snow peas. My store was out of sugar snaps, um, which is weird because I buy sugar snaps like every week, but they didn't have them. Um, we like to snack on them. Um, so I use snow peas and it'll be totally fine. Um, it's also gonna be served with rice, egg rolls, and fortune cookies. And those prices include all of that. You cannot go to Panda Express for that, ladies and gentlemen, I am telling you. Um, so, all right, barbecue chicken quesadillas. 
So we're gonna start with our green onion. I'm gonna need you in the next one. We are gonna chop up some green onion. Tip about green onions, and I give this tip all the time. I'm currently rebuilding my stash, that's why I keep buying green onion. Um, if you cut them, see where that part is? If you cut them right there, and they still have the floopy dupes, the roots on the end, and you put them in water and put them in a spot that gets some sun in your kitchen, and you clean out your water every couple of days, you just swap out your water, they will re-sprout for you, and you can stop buying green onions. So, I am currently, we go through a lot of green onions, and um, I was ill uh, for a couple of weeks, and so my green onions did not get maintained like they should have, and so I'm kind of redoing my green onion re-sprout, but it's really nice because I buy a 40, green onions are 48 cents in my area, so I buy a 48 cent bunch, and then, and I do that a couple weeks in a row, and then I have constant regrowth of green onion, which is amazing. As a Brit, why do you eat off paper when it's more cost effective to use normal plates? because it's a personal preference. If you need it to be faster and less cleanup, and that's what's right for you, use the paper plates. If you, or use regular plates. People make different choices for different reasons. I use regular plates most of the time, but like I said earlier, if there's a night that I need us not to, um, we can use paper plates and have less cleanup. It's totally personal. Do whatever it is that you like. Okay. So barbecue chicken quesadillas. Now, this calls for pre-cooked shredded deli rotisserie chicken. So what I do is I get a rotisserie chicken and whoa, there we go. That's gonna finish off this bottle. I'm not gonna need to get into the new bottle. Um, I get a rotisserie chicken, I bring it home. A rotisserie chicken for me, is $4.99 at my local Costco. So I buy a rotisserie chicken, I pull the meat off of it, I run my hand mixer through it, for which takes about, goodness, like 30 seconds, if that, um, and it shreds it all up, and then I package it into, package it into serving sizes. So one rotisserie chicken will get my family three to four meals, depending on the size of the chicken, and then I just freeze up my, freeze up my chicken, and I'm good to go. All right, so I'm gonna give this a mix really fast. So barbecue chicken quesadillas. Now I mentioned earlier that I don't do gluten or cow's dairy, but my family does. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing this together without the dairy. And I've got a little container here and I'm gonna pull mine aside. Then I'm gonna add the dairy for them. You only use paper plates and bowls. Yeah, you use what's best for you. Everyone does what's best for them. You use regular plates mostly, but sometimes paper. It just depends. Janice, that's me too. Uh, $7.99 for rotisserie chicken in Canada. Okay, well in Arizona it's $4.99, and so I'm grateful for that. Okay, so I've got my filling all good and mixed up, and all I'm gonna do is pull some of it out for me so that I can have mine without cow's dairy, and I will put mine on cassava tortilla, and theirs will go on whole wheat tortilla as the recipe calls for. I could do everybody on cassava tortilla, but to be honest, the cassava tortillas are expensive, and so I save them for me. <laughs> there we go, come here chicken. Chicken deliciousness mixture. Come on. There we go, oh that's a lot. All right. So there is my filling for mine. I'm gonna set that aside. So ordinarily yours would all be in one bag, but this is how you can make these substitutions and do it for your family. Yeah, in England you use them for parties, barbecues, or picnics, just curious. Yeah, again, you have to do what's best for you. So we're gonna add our shredded cheese in here. And it's, this is the filling for quesadillas, so you want a fair amount of cheese, right? Okay. 
And then we're just gonna give it another little mix. And there we go. Roll it down on itself so it all stays together. Here is my barbecue chicken quesadilla ready to go. This is gonna be served with avocado and green salad. This is off of our clean eating plan. Um, and yeah, on cook day, we're just gonna cook them up on the stove top, or you could pop them in the oven if you'd like, whatever it calls for. Oh, it does call for cooking them up in the oven. So there you go. I will probably do mine on the stove top to create less heat because again, it was 118 here in Arizona yesterday. Yay. I live on the surface of the sun, it's fine. Um, okay, so there we go. Barbecue chicken quesadillas, ready to go. That was meal number four. Um, we're 37 minutes in. Next up, pork on fried rice. You have to wait until your kids go back to school. If not, it would be eaten before you got home from work. Okay, what's cool about that is if you get the combo plan, it also comes with 170 lunch recipes. Those also can be added to your menu and they auto-generate in the grocery list and everything like that. And you're like, kids, here's what you have. You have this one today and this one tomorrow. And you've got it stacked up. 100% great for keeping your kids from eating you out of house and home during the summer. 100%. Your oldest grandson who is six loves the chicken quesadillas. Fantastic. You like watching American cooking for something different to cook? Love it. We have lots of members um, from over in the UK. So if you're interested, definitely join us. Okay. So, um, so next we're doing the pork unfried rice. This is off of our clean eating recipe. Um, and it is served with rice and veggies, right? Because it's an unfried rice. Um, but it even it tells you here, low carb option, use rice cauliflower instead of rice. And I have two step ingredients, ready? Cut pork into bite sized pieces. Mix next five ingredients in a small bowl and add half to a large zipper bag along with the pork. And reserve the remaining to pour over the rice on cooked it. So I didn't pay total attention to that instruction. So I'm gonna grab another bowl with a lid so that I have it to save for cooked day. All right, pork and fried rice. We got our pork going. Let's get the garlic. A little bag of clips on Amazon. They are called baggie holders and they're super handy. Now this one actually calls for dried ginger, but I'm also using fresh ginger in another recipe, so I decided to just use my fresh ginger. Here's the cool thing about ginger. I bought this knob of ginger, I don't know, forever ago, um, and it's just been in my freezer, and it works just fine. You just go through with your spoon and peel off your skin, I guess. I guess that's what you would call it, ginger skin. And it lives just in a bag in your freezer for like a very, very long time. So I spent 90 cent, 85 cents, I think at the time. I looked it up this week just so I could tell you how much it costs. Now it's 90 cents. And I have been using it, I, I've already used like half of this, um, but I've been using it for months <laughs> and it's fantastic. So I'm gonna pop that back in there. I will need it in another recipe. I'll set that right there. And let's give this a good stir, get everything to come together. And like the instructions say, we're gonna pour half of it over our pork and the other half we are gonna save to be served over our rice. Okay, there we go. 
All right. Clean off the side of my bowl because I was a little messy in my pouring. After you choose your recipe, it creates a shopping list and you mark off what you already have. Yes, shop your fridge, freezer, and pantry first. Absolutely. All right. Give that a good toss in the marinade. And then we are going to roll it over. And there we go. Here's meal number five, ready to go, 42 minutes in. Five meals prepped for my family. This pork on fried rice would have cost me $7.26 if I had had to buy everything because there was a good deal on pork at my store this week. I did, so that's $2.42 per person per meal. Um, I did not have to buy everything, so it cost me $2.47 to make the pork on fried rice. Um, and that includes my sides, everything, so $0.82 cents per person per serving. So, I mean, pretty, pretty great deal. Uh, these little bowls, they are Pampered Chef. Um, they were, it was like a six pack of them. I've had them for ever, a very, very long time. Um, so anyway, it says with this it, to use rice, rice with rice with veggies. It's like a rice with veggie steamer pack. And it also says for a lower carb option, use cauliflower rice instead of rice. Well, when I was looking in my grocery store, that was actually the one thing I had to buy was the cauliflower rice with the vegetables. Um, I had everything else. I had some leftover pork in my freezer that I hadn't gotten to from a large pack of pork, all the things. Um, so anyway, if I had had, um, so I just picked up the cauliflower rice with the vegetables because it, I was like, oh, that looks really good. And I like the fact that it's more veggies and less rice. So, but it was also a low carb option, which is great. And I love that it gives us those different options. Let's us know. I just like having more veggies. So last but not least, the Chinese chicken salad. This is a favorite around this house. I've made it, I don't know, probably three times already. Um, it's fantastic and we love it. Chinese chicken salad is one of my favorite things to get out. Now, normally I label bags. I forgot to pull out a bag for this one. So let's just go ahead and do that. What I do is I write on the bag the letter of the recipe it is. So if someone else is making it and I write if there are multiple things, I write one of one, one of two, whatever, and I write the title. Also, I would write the use by date of my protein on here, but this one's gonna be eaten tomorrow and it's using rotisserie chicken, so it's good to go. That's it, that's how I label my bags when I label bags. How many calories? It just depends. You control your ingredients, so you control your caloric intake. So um, you could just enter it into a uh, calorie or macro or whatever calculator that you know and trust, and you're good to go. But this is my favorite salad to get out. We have a little restaurant near us. It's a local chain, um, and they make an Asian salad that is the best. I love it. This is it's it basically. And so to get this out cost me about $15 just for the one salad to make this for my family of three. If I had to buy everything cost me $13.93. So three servings for $14 instead of one serving for $15, but I didn't have to buy everything. So it only cost me $3 and 50 cents to make this. So we're getting going on it. I give you Adele or Amy Schumer vibes. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. I have never heard either of those, but I will absolutely take it. So add first five ingredients to a large bowl with a lid and shake around to mix because I had some large containers already in this and I want to save space in my fridge. I'm doing this in a zip top bag this week, but I have done it into a large container with a lid. Get in there um, on more than one occasion. You do what's best, and I just feel like this is gonna be better for me. So that's what I'm doing. You do what you work. More Amy Schumer than Adele. Okay, cool. Um, 
We've got our carrots going in here. Ooh. Now, oftentimes, and this one calls for green onion as well, and I should have just chopped all of my green onion at once. That is normally what I do if I know that I'm using something in more than one recipe. I will normally only cut it once, but I didn't this time for some reason, so bear with me while we cut onions again. Y'all get to watch me cut onions again. Yay! Come on. Set those aside to go in my grow area. Now, it does not call for this much green onion, you guys, but I really like green onion. So, I always go heavy on green onion and garlic are two ingredients that I go heavy on. But the nice thing is because you're making your meals, you can make those adjustments to what your family enjoys. If your family does not do green onion, don't put it in there. Hello. Hey, Renee. How's it going? Okay, you really like the green onions too? All right, so we're gonna put our green onion in here. Get it ready. Now again, you can join Five Dinners One Hour. You can immediately unlock 60 recipes for only $26. I say way more than that each week by using this program because I don't have waste. I have exactly what I need. We're not eating out all of the things. Um, with the code 10 off, 10 off right behind me, but if you want to, and that's for the classic plan or the clean eating plan, this Chinese chicken salad is on the classic, um, and it's going to get served with the side of egg rolls. Um, but if you want to unlock everything for the next three months, you're going to spend a few more dollars and you're going to get the combo plan and it's going to give you 500 recipes, 500, 500. All right, so here is the salad portion. Now we gotta make up our dressing. Super excited about that one. That's probably the one I'm most excited about. You guys, I love this salad. I love this salad. Now I did call for water. I went ahead and put my water in my jar as part of my dressing because I am a klutz and I knock things over. And anybody who's ever seen me prep live, you know that I knock things over, including one time I knocked my tripod over, broke it, shattered, it was a whole situation. The salad is so good, it's one of your favorites. I'm telling you what, this salad is fire. Family combo is what Renee has. You love the combo plan too, Christy. I'm telling you, the combo plan is the way to go. But if you wanna get your feet wet and you just wanna try the classic or you just wanna try the clean eating, clean eating is more lean meats, whole grains, tons and tons of veggies. Um, but the classic is more like comfort food, home cooking sort of. Still lots of veg and stuff on that. There's veggies in every single recipe. Um, here's the thing. Um, I think it was Renee that mentioned, she heard someone say that um, their family eats more vegetables even on the classic plan than they ever did before five dinners one hour. So it's amazing, it's amazing. And veggies aren't, they aren't scary, right? You know what you're doing with them, which is fantastic. So, okay, um, this calls for sesame seeds. We can't have uh, sesame seeds, so we are leaving the sesame seeds out. Add our rice vinegar. Oh, we're gonna finish off our rice vinegar. I'm gonna set it behind me. I like to set things that need to be recycled behind me. Um, it just works for me. But you're gonna find a system that works in your kitchen. There we go. You find what works for you, and that's what you use. I like these little baskets. I know Renee preps in some baskets as well. Um, I like them because then I know that I'm using everything, that I haven't left anything behind. And I know that it is all in there. And remember I told you that we were gonna be using the ginger, the fresh ginger and another one. So again, just buy it all the ginger and freeze it. And I'm telling you what, this ginger is going to last you stinging forever. And I love the taste of fresh ginger, if I'm being honest. The 
there we go, fresh ginger. And now I will put him away back in his bag. He will go back in the freezer for the next time I make a recipe involving fresh ginger. It's amazing how long 85 cents worth of fresh ginger will last you. You did five dinners for a serving of six for only $84. Renee, that's amazing. Woo. There we go. Here is my salad dressing. So this Chinese chicken salad would have cost me $13.93, but I didn't need a lot of things, so it only cost me $3.50, so $1.16 per person per serving. Are we okay here? All right, all right. So, oh, that's where I'm leaking from. Okay, love mason jars for salad dressings. They normally don't leak on me, but this one I must add something on the rim. Okay. Let's go through everything. I prepped six meals for my family. Grand total for six meals at a serving of three each. If I had had to purchase everything, it would have cost me $71.83. I did not. I spent out of this week's budget $39.41, so $2.18 per person per meal. And let me go over what we've got. Chinese chicken salad, $13.93. Um, everything cost, my cost $3.50. Deviled chicken legs. Uh, deviled chicken legs, $12.05 would have been the everything cost. $10.42 was my cost this week. French dip sliders. Yum. $14.12 would have been the everything cost. I spent $9.92. Asian grilled shrimp. Remember, I'm going to have this later in the week, so my shrimp is still in the freezer, but everything else is prepped here. I'm just going to add my shrimp to it right before I need it. And give it a toss. Asian broiled shrimp, shrimp dinner, $14.28 is the everything cost. I spent $9.60. Barbecue chicken quesadillas. Now remember, for dietary restrictions, I pulled some out that doesn't have the cow's dairy cheese in it. Um, so we're good to go. You could also use vegan cheese, do whatever you want. But you know, you do what's best for your family. Barbecue chicken quesadillas off the clean eating plan. This is gonna be served with avocado and green salad. Um, $10.19 would have been the everything cost. I spent $3.50. And the pork unfried rice, the extra sauce to go on top of it, our veggies for that day are in the freezer right now. Um, so it's gonna be served with that cauliflower rice and vegetables off the clean eating plan. Everything price, $7.26. I spent $2.47, you guys. That's it. That's it. That's what I spent. I, got, I made six meals for my family in 54 minutes. Y'all watched me do it. Now let me show you, let me move this stuff aside and I'll show you my dirty dishes. Now remember, I did bread those chicken breasts to begin with, so there is a plate, a small bowl, and a basting brush that you're not gonna see because we already took that to the sink. Move things aside here, boom. All right, here are my dirties. I've got my cutting board. A knife, three spoons, a cutting knife, some kitchen shears. This is it. This is everything I have to clean, plus the plate and small bowl. The bowl is this size. That's over by my sink right now that had the chicken juices on it. That's it. Do I do grocery shopping in between making meals? Oh, so what else, what else am I spending on my groceries? Is that what you're asking? So I spend my grocery budget right now, which I might have to up slightly, is $450 a month. I spend $75 a week at the grocery store and that is for all of my, um, all of my breakfast, lunches, dinners, snacks, all the things. And I also spend $150, which I think I'm gonna up that to 200 to Costco um, once a month. And so, so that comes out to 450 or 500, let's call it 500 a month for everything. But that includes all of my household items and everything. That's everything that we eat. So I don't have to go back and forth to the grocery store. And I find that I save money and I certainly save time not going back and forth to the grocery store. Plus with the generated grocery list, um, I have, and it's divided by where I find things in the grocery store. I have everything that I need for my dinner. So I know I'm not missing something. I know I'm not like, uh, unless, your husband accidentally finishes the orange marmalade because he didn't realize you were saving it because you didn't say anything. I have everything I need. 
And I just made a slight, slight uh, we just turned a little bit of honey and some orange juice into orange marmalade and called it good. Um, it'll have all the same flavor profiles and it'll still be delicious. But I have everything I need. I don't need to run back to the store. He even offered, he offered to, he's like, I'm so sorry. Like, do you want me to go to the store and get you some? And I was like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I got this. Um, so it's, it's that easy. It's that easy to, um, it's that easy to, to get everything you need and to save money. You save so much money. The website is five dinners, one hour.com five dinners, one hour.com. Use the code 10 off one zero O F F. And again, with that code for 26 bucks, you get, um, immediate access and you get 60 recipes, either the classic or the clean eating, right? But if you want to spend a few more dollars and upgrade, you can st you still use that code 10 off for $45. You're going to get access to 500 recipes. You have three months worth of access. And then, I mean, you're going to love it. You're 100% going to love it. It's fantastic. Can I show the meals I just made again? I would love to. Let me move my cutting board aside. Hold, please. Get over there. All right. The meals I have just made are the, that is not Asian broiled shrimp. What is this? Okay. This is the pork unfried rice. It's going to be served with cauliflower rice and vegetables. This is the Chinese chicken salad. One of my favorites. We've made this um, and all of these recipes are currently live. You will see every single one of these recipes. Um, uh, the pork unfried rice is on the clean eating plan. The Chinese chicken salad is on the classic plan, but you will have access to all of these right now. They are here. Okay. And then we have the deviled chicken legs off of the classic plan. It's gonna be served with a side salad, roasted potatoes and peas. Your potatoes are already ready to go. We've got the Barbecue chicken quesadillas, actually off of the clean eating plan. These are gonna be done on whole wheat tortillas. In my case, I'm gonna do them on cassava tortillas. I've actually pulled out a side serving to have any um, uh, allergens out of it for me. So I'm good to go. My whole family's ready. Made the mod mods as I needed it, no big deal. Barbecue chicken quesadillas, clean eating plan, ready to go. And then next up, we've got the Asian broiled barbecue shrimp. My shrimp is not in here yet because I am not going to eat this today or tomorrow. I'm gonna to eat it later in the week, probably Thursday, so Wednesday or Thursday. So I'm not gonna pull my shrimp out until that morning when I need it. And lastly, the sixth meal, because I did six meals today, um, French dip sliders, ready to go. And these are gonna be served with chips and we're also gonna serve them with some fruit. That's it, here's everything. You just signed up and you're excited, especially with school starting next month. Yes, absolutely. Is there a way to prep ahead a breaded item? Yes, this is a breaded item. The double chicken legs are in panko. I use gluten-free panko, um, but the double chicken legs are done in panko. Generally items that are breaded or if they're in like a crescent roll or something like that, it generally says best on day one or day two. And so you know to eat it on the first day. Why don't I consider the price of things that I've already purchased and have on hand? Because here's how I do this. Now I gave you my price. If I had had to purchase everything for all six of these meals would have cost me $71 and 83 cents. I account for you budget how you budget. I account for an item, the full cost of an item when I purchase it. So this week, I purchased, had to get a new barbecue sauce. So I purchased the entire purchase price of that barbecue sauce is in the cost, $1.48 is what I got it for, is in the cost of my barbecue chicken quesadillas. I paid for it this week, came out of this week's budget. It is free to me the rest of the time. You budget how you budget, how it works for you, but that's how I calculate it. So everybody's gonna do it their own way but I'm not about to sit in and figure out what 
31 two tablespoon servings is. So, um, and then divide it out and how many tablespoons have I used out of this every time I don't do it. I just account for it the week that I buy it. If you wanna do that, go for it. That's too much math and too much time for me. Um, but yeah, and that's a, it's a great question. It gets asked a lot. Um, you do it the way that works for you. I work on what comes out of this week's budget. What other questions do you guys have about five dinners one hour other than use the code 10off10off to get instant access to the meal plans? The Amazon store link is probably in the bio. I think it is. Um, so it should be there. But five dinners one hour.com is really what we're all about. If you're interested in the baggie holders, you can find them on Amazon if you want to use our link. Great. If not, cool. So in less than an hour, I made six meals for my family out of this week's budget. I paid less than $40. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. Um, but again, if I had had to pay for everything, it would have cost me $71. So if I buy five pounds of chicken and only use two pounds for your meal, I do the cost of five pounds. Yes. Yep. So like if I buy a rotisserie chicken, um, example, because I know that number off the top of my head. A rotisserie chicken for me is $4.99. I can get three to four meals out of a rotisserie chicken for my family. Um, I will factor in, in the recipe that I bought it for, it was $4.99. From then on, if I have packages of chicken that I pull from the freezer, like I did this week, I had two of them that I pulled from the freezer. I didn't have to buy them because I had two packages in my freezer. They were free to me because I already paid that money. Money's gone. So yeah, you do what, whatever way is best for you. And that, but that's why I always tell you both. I always tell you, if I had had to buy everything, the barbecue chicken quesadillas would have cost me $10.19. I didn't, I only needed to spend $3.50. So, you get it, you tend to buy in bulk, which is why you ask. Yeah, yeah, and I will buy um, like a large pork loin and cut it down into roasts and stuff like that. And then whatever recipe I got for the pork loin, and now I'll say, if I'm using the pork loin in three of my recipes that week, I will divide my price among those three recipes, but it's whatever that, say it was $15, then I would account for $5 in each recipe. And then the other seven portions of pork that I have in my freezer, those are free to me. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Definitely check out Five Dinners One Hour if you are not subscribed to the Five Dinners One Hour TikTok. Please make sure that you are subscribed. Um, and go and check out the videos. There's tons of stuff up there. Um, time lapses of people making food. There's some recipes. There's um, tips and tricks, all the things. So make sure you do that. And we will talk to you all very, very soon. Yeah, you're welcome, Norma. Happy to. Happy to. Take care.